Hi. <laughs> We're double stop march now. And bass players, I want you to know that the cello part is very similar to the bass part. You might hear Miss BW playing some double stops that you don't have, and that's okay. But the rhythm is the same. So when you're working with this recording, um, your rhythm should be the same as the cello. if I did not acknowledge the loss that the Northeastern District and Lexington and Public Schools have experienced this week. Um, Janet Haas, string teacher in the Lexington Public Schools for 31 years, um, passed away on Wednesday after a battle with cancer. Who was an amazing, amazing bass player herself and string teacher, and she passed away suddenly this January, um, you know, two weeks after teaching her last class, so we're dedicating all our performances this uh, year to her. Janet will always be remembered for being a brilliant musician, teacher, and colleague. She enhanced the lives of, of thousands of students over her career, whether they pursued music beyond her teaching or not. Not only did she teach them music at the highest level, but gave them valuable lessons about life that will last forever. Janet was deeply respected and loved by her colleagues, and she'll be greatly missed at home in Lexington and the greater Boston musical community. My name is Derek, class of 2006. My name is Micah Benson, and I'm a junior at Lexington High School. We are Letitia and Rita Hong, representing the Hong family. Yeah, it was very sad to hear about uh, Mrs. Haas's passing. Um, I have so many great memories of orchestra. I'm not going to be able to fit them all here. I want to start with, I guess, just the, the music that we played. Um, Mrs. Haas always picked such great music that, that a lot of which still stick with me today um, to perform like all-time classical masterpieces in the honors orchestra was just a privilege um, and the job that Mrs. Haas did to to get high schoolers to be able to do these pieces justice was incredible. I just want to say thank you so much to Ms. Haas for um, introducing me to my love of music. When I was in fourth grade, I saw chamber orchestra perform, and I thought to myself, I want to be there one day. I want to play those pieces. They're so amazing. And I really just like worked my way up through the orchestras at Lexington um, because Ms. Haas had built the program into what it is today. Um, because these top orchestras were so good, I really wanted to be part of it. And now I've made it, and I even got to play under her, and it was an amazing experience. I'm just so thankful for her. Our family knew Mrs. Haas since she arrived in Lexington to oversee the string and orchestra programs of our town's public schools. Over the years, Leticia and I developed a collegial relationship with Mrs. Haas as we sought her valued insight on the challenging facets of teaching. In one instance, she said, We never give up on students because one day things will click. When I started learning violin in first grade, I was really unenthusiastic. I really didn't want to do it. But Miss Haas was the reason why I continued doing it. She was the reason why I, I, I became such an enthusiastic musician, why I continue doing music, playing violin until, until now. And it's, she's had such a big impact on my life. I really, just beyond, beyond musical education, she's given me so much, so much deeper and more meaningful these lessons and she made such a big impact in my life. I really I really miss her. 
The first time I met Miss Hawes was in fourth grade, and I she was a very prominent figure in my musical life um, and all of our lives. It's incredible how many lives she touched, and she's been truly inspirational for me. Um, she's not only taught me a lot about music, but she's shown me what it really means to be a great mentor. She knew everyone's name. It's just, it's a little detail that has always amazed me. She really connected to all of her students. And this is hundreds of students. She knew hundreds of names. I, I don't know how she did it. One, the biggest takeaway maybe is how much she loved doing what she did. Um, and so I hope one day I can do something that I love as much as she did. So all of us would like to say thank you. Thank you, you Ms. Haas. We'll miss you. I just want to say thank you so much to Ms. Haas. Thank, thank you, Mrs. Haas. Uh, yeah, thank you for everything.